Yo, this is Tip Top Hamza, the Rookie Analyst. You are welcome to my channel, the channel for enthusiasts. Thank you so much for the warm welcome on the official trailer. This is going to be our first learning episode. And today, I'm, we are going to learn how to analyze and visualize a simple data directly from Microsoft Word. You know what? Come, let's build some data. Hello and welcome to this learning episode on how to visualize the simple data in Microsoft Word. First, you will need to open your Microsoft Word document containing the data you want to visualize. For this learning episode, we'll be using a report for Tip Top Tears um, restaurants. And as the sales representative, I want to include charts in this um, report. So once you have this open, next is for you to identify which section of the report are you going to insert to this chart? So I want to insert my chart here. So have my, co my cursor over here. Then next is for me to um, click on the insert tab in the top menu. This is insert tab on the top menu. And once you click on the insert tab in the top menu, um, we want to select the type of chart we want to use. To do this, we click on the chart button in the illustration session here. This is illustration session and then um, this will open up a chart type dialog box where you can select the type of charts you want. For this um, episode, we'll be using a pie chart. So we come over here to pie charts and we could see we have different um, variants of pie charts. So here is the donuts. I like the donut chart more simply because I love donuts. <laughs> so you click OK. Uh, now it's time for you to enter your data because you have a pop-up of Excel here for each entire data. So once you uh, select, once you select the um, type of chart, automatically you have an Excel prompt for each entire data. So here we enter our data. So this is the data we want to uh, insert here for our product sales. So let's put this up here, product sales. Then we write down the list of our products. You could expand this Excel if you have more data sets. So these are just five data, a simple data. So first we have our burger. So burger for 10,000, total sales, 10,000. Next we have um, pizza for 7,500. Next we have a sandwich for 3,500. And um, next we have a salad for 2,000. And last we have the beverage for 2,000 as well. Yeah, once you enter your data, start, you just close this Excel chart and then you have your chart here. So it's time for you to customize your Chart. You can choose from variety of chart styles. How do you change your chart styles? Just come over here. This is chart styles. You select and you select the different chart styles here. So we'll just go with this one here, right here. So I select this chart style. And once you have the chart style selected, you could also um, do a bit of more formatting by um, adding titles and subtitles. So here we want it to be tip top, tip top tastes. Tip Top Taste Restaurant as a title. Then we want the product sales to be the subtitle, right? Um, March 2023, product sale, product sales, March 2023, 2023, yeah, product sales. So we would like to differentiate the um, the title from the subtitle so we could increase the size of this or we'll reduce the size of this subtitle here to 12 the font size to 12 yeah and then we could as well add a bit of a color here to this red then we could also increase the font of this our legend here we could increase the font for the legend to maybe let's say 10 and if you want it bold, you just bold it here by selecting bold here or use control B. You can as well increase the size of your charts. And then you could also increase the 
charts particularly or even increase the text box so here already had a summary of what the pie chart here, the, what the pie chart shows and from this we could see that um, we have 40% um, of the um, of the boga sales but boga accounts for the 40% of the total sales and as you can see here blue and then this is blue so this uh, um, and that's that's it with this simple steps you can create a professional looking pie chart in Microsoft Word and interestingly Interestingly, you can do the same in PowerPoint, um, which will probably make your presentation more appealing to your audience. Uh, briefly, let me show you how. So here is a blank slide in Microsoft PowerPoint and um, with a logo, of course. And to do this in Microsoft PowerPoint, all you need to do is just click on the insects and then the chart buttons, similar steps as we have in Microsoft Word. And then you select the kind of chart you want. If you want a bar chart, for instance, you select your bar chart and then OK. And then you have the Excel charts prompt where you enter your data. And once you enter your data there, you close it and voila, you have a chart. You've created a chart here. Do the customization as you like. So I will leave a link to download this report in the description box for you to insert a bar chart here feel free to drop your comments questions and feedback kindly share like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update thanks for watching and happy chatting